Hello, I'm Jerry Kirkpatrick and I'm teaching the fundamentals of metal shaping. I've noticed on YouTube that there are many uh, videos that show how to weld uh, aluminum with the oxyacetylene, but none of them that I have seen uh, shows you how to, to mix the aluminum welding flux. In this video, I'll be showing you how to mix the flux so you get the correct uh, viscosity so it stays on the rod and on the part that you're going to weld without uh, being too thin so it runs off or spalls on the rod or you don't have big glob hanging on the end of the rod or on the part that you're about to weld. If you are interested in getting into oxyacetylene welding aluminum, uh, at the end of the video, I will show you a aluminum welding starter kit that I've put together. And now let's get on to mixing some flux. Okay, what you will find is it takes very little water to, uh, to get a, a good mixture. So the first thing we're going to do is take just a slight amount of the flux, not very much at all, put it down in there, and I'm just going to use my finger, just get it wet in the water. Just a few drops is all it's going to take. That's like seven drops right there. And I'll just start mixing it in there. Pull the water back into the into the flux. Now you can see there that it's very thick. And if you used it at this point, you can see how glob, what a big glob it makes on there. So I'm just going to put like two more drops in there. One, two. Mix that in real good. Pull it into the rest of the flux. Now it's starting to thin out, as you can see. And that's just about the consistency you want right there. Now after you get it mixed up real good, you can take the rod and just pull it to each end of the flux caddy. And when you put your rod down in there, see how it stays about the same consistency all the way along. You can take and rub it, touch it right on the side there. That's perfect right there. Now that's exactly the amount and how you'd want it to go. That way you could use a brush and put it on your, on your part. And as you can see, if I put my rod down in there, give it just a turn. It just puts exactly the right amount of flux on there. Now I'm going to show you what happens if we go too thin. Just another I'm going to put three drops in there, that's all, and mix that up. It's still pretty good, but it's kind of runny. Let me put another drop or two in there. Now you'll start to see it spall on the rod. You can see how thin it's, there's some voids all along in there. So just a couple of drops, I think it was like four or five extra drops and the uh, flux started to spall. So I hope you found
found that informative. Uh, if you are interested in starting to weld uh, aluminum with oxyacetylene, uh, I have a kit that you can find on my website, and it consists of aluminum welding rod, one half pound, 1100. It has a can of aluminum welding flux. It has a flux caddy that you saw me using for mixing the flux. Makes it quite handy. You don't have to use a brush or anything to uh, load the flux onto your rod. It comes with a blue lens that takes the yellow glare out of the uh, out of welding because there's quite a bright yellow hue that's emitted uh, because of the salts that are in the flux. So the blue lens will take that yellow out so you can see down into the weld itself. You get a clear cover lens that will go over the blue so you don't scratch it up. And you get a number three uh, oxyacetylene welding lens also. And when you put the number three and the blue together, that brings them both up to a number five. And that is ideal for uh, oxyacetylene welding. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.